Hi there, this is the next tutorial um, in regards to browsing your music when you're DJing with Ableton. As you'll see here, this is your browser section on the left pane. Uh, you've got three different file areas you can choose from, which you can configure. I usually just use one, and I'm using the arrow keys on the keyboard to go in and out particular files and you may want to organize your files like this I would recommend it first via tempo and then um, obviously with house music which is quite common at the moment I've got different genres that I kind of organize my music in uh, I am a quite a commercial DJ I won't lie about that and it's important to use folders to organize your music um, for example, it just gives you more control on the dance floor um, and it also gives you the opportunity to try new music out and have stuff ready to kind of back it up. So to like kind of explain that, say um, you wanted to try a new remix out, I mean this is not uh, new at all. And. Um, But you want something, you know, ready to be fired straight away after it if it didn't go down very well. So you'd pick something in the same key, or you know, something near the same key. Um, something you know that would be, you know, alright to go down with. Like, I'm sure we've heard of this track. And uh, so it just gives you a good opportunity to just have better crowd on the uh, more control, I suppose would be the word. So, for example, the crowd are not really feeling this track. You know, if you've always got a, a popular track in the background ready to hit, you know, you're always in control, and that's the main thing. see from that sample just how quick it is to kind of transfer to a new song and keep the energy in, in the club basically which is what you're going for um, so yeah it's really important that you organize your folders with you know especially the stuff you rely on quite a bit that you know is going to get a good crowd reaction it's quite a good idea to know exactly where them folders are <clears throat> in case you're starting to lose the dance floor um, that's pretty much it of how I organise my music. Um, with the video I showed you in preparing your music, as shown before, it's all about organising your music around the key of the music, but I've already been into that, so I'm not going to explain that again. If you need to have a look at that, that's in one of my first tutorials um, on the website. So.